Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're checking out the Premium Bandai set here, new variants of the Mercurius and the V8 HG kits from Gundam Wing. These being the V8 Savant and the Mercurius Savant. Awesome box art there on the front. With these being Premium Bandai, you don't always get that full box art on here, so it's really nice to see that. But let's go ahead and check it out and then get into the review. So like I said, with Premium Bandai boxes, usually there's not a whole lot to see on the outside of the box, but we do have like a full normal release style box here for this and some really, really awesome artwork here on the front if you're fans of the V8 and Mercurius mobile suits. I mean, this is really, really cool to see even though these are their variants here. Of course, on the side of the box, just the same thing there, but no number since this is a premium band that release is not a part of the numbered line. And on the bottom of the box here, we have some photos of the painted kits here, the V8 Savant there front and back, the Mercurius Savant there front and back. And essentially what these are is like a kind of have a double version of whatever equipment they have on the backpack and then some new heads kind of basically on there and new color schemes and everything. So we've also got parts in here for the V8 Savant Custom, which has containers to store planet defensors on the back there. That's really cool. We got some action shots over here showing some of the articulation and poses that you can do with some of these and some of the option parts, everything, the hand option parts, the gimmick there of the head, the weapons and all the other equipment there. Around here on the other side of the box, we've got a little bit of background info there in Japanese and in English, so that's cool to see. Another photo of the painted set of kits right there, and that's it for the outside of the box. Let's go ahead and pop it open and check out the contents in here. Now, just like with the release of the regular version V8 and Mercurius, we have both kits here in one, so you will have to kind of separate out all the parts. Let's go ahead and check out the manual here. So on the front there, just kind of in standard HG style, we've got the painted kits here for reference and then stats on each one there off to the side. We got some more information over here about the crash shield, the planet defensors, the beam gun there for the Mercurius. Around here on the back side, we've got some more information about the planet defensor containers and equipment here for the V8, basically the double beam cannons here for the V8 Savant, I should say. To be precise, here's our color guide right there. That's all there in Japanese and in English for you. And then on the inside of the manual, here is our parts list. And part of the construction is going to be in color there for like the last part of the uh, V8 Savant, it looks like. And then just kind of like some of how to equip the parts on there. Most of the construction on the inside is going to be here just in black and white. But one thing that looks cool to see so we're actually gonna have these display stands included there for that, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and check out our other stuff here. We've got a pretty sizable sticker sheet here, but considering this is for both kits, most of these larger ones here are for like in the backpack there of the V8 Savant. A lot of this is just little camera stuff for the most part, some little color circles there. Not a whole lot in the way of stickers, so that's good. Some other bits we've got in here, PC7 for some polycap ball joints, and that's it for the polycaps. SB6 for our clear yellow beam saber effect parts, just one set of those. And then getting into the runners, I just want to show you guys these first. So we've got two CE1 and two of this is technically the G2 runner, but this is all of our clear effect parts here that we're going to use for this, so that's awesome. And then we have runner A, which you'll see we have two of, which goes for a lot of the runners in here. We're going to have one runner for the V8, one for the Mercurius. This one obviously for the Mercurius Savant and it is in three colors. So we have a very light kind of pastel bluish purplish color up there, like a pastel yellow over here and a very light pink color here for the main color of the mobile suit. For the V8 version, it's dark blue with some darker kind of purplish mauve kind of color there and then some baby blue parts over here. For the B runner, we've got two of each. So two in dark blue for the V8, two in that light pink for the Mercurius. And then our C runners here are in this dark brownish color here for like the joints and internal type parts. Here's runner C1. We've got two of runner C2 and then we've also got C4 here for some more of those. Up next, we've got our E runners here, which are in this light purple color. E1 has some planet defensors and a couple more parts over here. E2, we've got two of, is a copy of that half, actually three of, I should say. Three of those, which is a copy of this part. So as you can see, we're gonna have a lot of these planet defensors there. Runner F is another runner here, which we've got two different versions of. One for the Mercurius, which again has some light blue, light pink, light yellow, and then clear green over here for the V8 version, dark blue, light blue, 
uh, purplish and yellow for the clear part. And then lastly, runner G1 here is gonna be in a dark bluish gray color there for some of the weapons and equipment parts. Looks like I think this is mostly for the V8 and that's it. Okay guys, so here are the two kits all built up. These are really, really nice kits. It's kind of a pleasure to be building these kits once again, being kind of formed based on the Leo. The HG Leo kit was great. The original Mercurius and V8 kits were great. And now these new versions are really cool as well. The color schemes I understand may not be for everyone, but I think most people, if you're a fan of the Mercurius and the V8 designs, then you can probably get behind these new designs because it's basically like just doubling down on their weapons and armaments. And then they have, uh, you know, a couple of new parts here and there, and we'll talk more about that. Most notably, obviously, the head's gonna be different on these, which I think are also pretty cool, new, unique designs, kind of new takes on the heads of the particular mobile suits here. So really, really cool sets. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at all of our different accessories and everything that we have here included with the kits. Now, in terms of the number of accessories between the two kits, there's definitely a lot more accessories here for the Mercurius, but in terms of the like actual amount of plastic there, it's probably pretty similar. So starting off with the Mercurius, obviously the planet defensors are gonna be there mounted onto the back. We've got four sets of five of those. Each of these can be split apart. Each one has a little sticker on the one side, on the back side, a hard point, so you can plug each one of these onto a separate effect stand or effect base or something if you wanted to, but these can be separated apart and then joined back together in a multitude of different angles. Like for example, we can turn these into something like this into a more rounded shape like that if you wanted to. So it's nice that these are pretty uh, easily changed into different shapes. Now for handheld weapons, it does have this kind of beam pistol right there with a big sticker there for the kind of camera lens on that. Pretty simple, that just fits down into the hand. And then we've got a new kind of different design here for the crash shield, but once again, it works the same, just fits into the hand. Uh, on the front of this, you can plug in your beam saber effect part, which is gonna be the shorter type yellow, uh, clear yellow beam effect there for the front of that. We've got an alternate hand for the left side only. You are gonna have to swap the back of the hand though in order to swap that out. Otherwise, just the holding hands is what we have for the standard hands uh, for both of the kits. The V8 Savant also has the same open hand, so you have two of these left side only holding hands like that for the two kits. But otherwise then, of course, we've got the effect bases, which are just kind of your standard base with a couple of points of articulation here and there. Uh, here for where we're gonna plug the planet defensors onto this kind of big ring section. We have four individual sections, so which will form, each one is a quarter circle, so uh, ultimately it forms like a full circle out of those if you're using uh, both stands together. We'll see some more of those in use in just a moment, but as for the V8 Savant, like I said, nothing really too much in the way of accessories for this, except for this guy right here, which is just the planet defensor containers, which can be attached onto the back skirt for the uh, V8 Savant Custom. Now, in order to do that, we're basically just gonna swap this part here for the back skirt kind of part right there. You'll take that part off, plug this part on in its place because it has these hard points for plugging on these big containers. They are adjustable. You can kind of change the angle of them left and right, but that's really kind of gonna be about it for as far as like how poseable these really are. They do open up, but on the inside, they're just completely hollow. So I mean, you're not really gonna be too much to see on the inside. Although it doesn't show this, I don't think anywhere in the manual, you can actually put your planet defensors in there if you wanted to like that as an actual container. So I mean, it does work as a functional container like that if you wanted to. There's not really any good way to have them like, uh, like popping out of there or something, but if you wanted to have them in here in a way so it looks like this is kind of like opening up and they're deploying and you could certainly work that out. One other thing I want to talk about here is extra parts. With this being a P Bandai variant, of course, there's going to be a lot of extra parts in here. Um, nothing really too much that you can do much with. One of the uh, extra parts here is just going to be, for example, like for the original legs are going to be a little bit shorter. So you can see the new legs that we have for this are actually a bit longer here in the lower leg section. So for our new parts, but if you prefer the shorter legs, then you should be able to use that with no issues. We have the original parts here for the chest, which is gonna be a little bit different because these have, uh, like I said, part of the new head is kind of a fact that the head is kind of made up of two sections rather than just being like one section. It's kind of kind of like a neck section and then a head section kind of on the top of that. So it's a little bit different here for the torso piece. If I kind of take the top off of that, you can see there's our kind of like a Leo face inside there with a little ball joint and the top part of the helmet kind of fits on top of that. So that is on a ball joint right there. And then as you can see, we have another ball joint here on the top, but that's basically just meant to just have the mask 
kind of just attached onto the top of the head there. But as you can see, we have a green sticker uh, for the camera lens on this one. The actual clear piece does feed through to the top there, but it's meant to have a yellow visor and a green camera, whereas the Mercurius Savant is meant to have a green visor with a yellow camera. So you have stickers for those to make them kind of a little bit more color accurate. There's also stickers to go in behind the clear parts, but you kind of can't really see anything but the clear parts in there anyway. And if you're wondering your leftover parts, if you can make the original head of the Mercurius Neve, you have all of the parts to do so, but the only part that you're missing, as you can see, you kind of have the parts for the front, the back, the top. It doesn't have the parts for the original horns on the top of the head, and it's just missing the part, which is the kind of dark gray part on the inside. So you would have to, you can either assemble this head or this head. You can't have uh, both assembled at the same time. Now to talk a little bit about some of the articulation, as I mentioned before, you have kind of like a double joint in the head, which is such a weird thing to say, but that's kind of essentially what it is. Although it's not really gonna give you, I mean, just like with the Leo and just like with the regular Mercurius MV8 before it, I mean, you're not really gonna have a whole lot of articulation of the head up and down other than just like a little bit of a wiggle there. Side to side is fine like that. Otherwise, the uh, articulation of this, we've kind of been over before a couple of times. So I'm not gonna go over everything kind of in too much in depth, but a single joint there in the elbow just gives you a little bit more than a 90 degree bend there but a kind of nice bend there you have a double joint in the knee which does give you a pretty full bend here as well with some nice knee separation of that armor right there not really too much in the way of articulation here in the midsection other than just a rotation side to side one other new part worth noting here is in this crotch section right here just gives you a little bit better color separation than what the original version of the kit had so that does look kind of nice gives you that darker gray section around that little thruster bell right there. The ankles only move a little bit, but pretty good up and down, which is kind of what you need for aerial poses, which is probably how you're gonna to wanna to have this displayed in some sort of a flying in space pose anyway, right? That little bit of front ankle armor is on a ball joint, but it's not really gonna move anywhere. Up underneath the feet, you do have some nice detail for most of the foot, a little bit of hollow gap there at the back side. And then of course, where our armaments are attached onto here on the back, can kind of move up and down. And for the Mercurius Savant here, it's not really gonna to do too much as these uh, planet defensors are kind of meant to either be plugged onto the back as you can see them now or deployed. So you're not really gonna be able to uh, do much moving those around, but this whole kind of connection does move up and down here as well. And you can kind of change the angle of those a little bit side to side, you could also rotate these sections here. Whereas of course on the Ve Savant, there's gonna be a little bit more going on just because these cannons can actually be deployed kind of out to the front of the mobile suit. So that kind of swings out and around on that uh, mechanical arm there. The handle on the side of the cannon pops out. This actually extends, if I can, it extends out to the front like that. The handle pops out so you can work the arm around there to hang on to the handle of the cannon like so. Uh, around here towards the end of the cannon, you can see that little black stripe. There's four of those black stickers that go around on the end of there as far as stickers here on the back end we have some yellow stickers and if we open that up we have a big yellow sticker that goes around here on the inside as well on the back side of there is also a black sticker right there so that's where the majority of our stickers are going here on the vase savant but this whole section too we can kind of adjust the angle of that to have that opened up and overall i mean the articulation on these just like with the hg leo which they're kind of essentially based off of i mean the articulation is very basic i mean they're very much like kind of like entry grade kits but really nice there's a couple other stickers here worth pointing out on the shoulders underneath the circle part the circle part's an extra piece but that little bit of color underneath there is a, a sticker that you'll have to put on there and it's the same for both kits. As you can see, the Mercurius and Savant also has that little color app underneath that little circle part there. But all right, guys, let's try out some poses here with these kits. And like I was just mentioning a moment ago, they are very much on the lower end in terms of the complexity scale. That said, they do have some nice color separation here and there. It would be nice if they had a little bit better part separation in like maybe like this parts on like the side of the legs. It's got like kind of those thruster bells kind of tucked in up on like the side of the thighs, which are not color separated. It would have been nice if those were a separate piece. But otherwise, for the most part, I mean, the kits look really good. I think they have a good amount of detail. They're not, again, super detailed, but I think have a nice amount that kind of fits the look of the kits. Not really too much in the way of seam lines on them as well. So they're very nicely engineered. Just because I say that the kits are, you know, simple in their engineering doesn't necessarily mean by any means that that's a, a bad thing. I mean, they're very much similar to the entry grades in all the best ways in that they're very nicely engineered. Uh, they have some pretty good color separation uh, for their simplicity. And they are nicely engineered in the fact that, you know, you don't have a lot of seam lines on them, which is nice. There are gonna be a couple here and there, but for the most 
part. Pretty cool kits. If you guys have built the original Vey and Mercurius kits, you should have a pretty good idea what to expect uh, with these here, obviously. Or if again, if you've built the Leo, you should have a pretty good idea what to expect with these as well. But of course, the new weaponry is really cool on these. Gotta say, the color scheme is not particularly my favorite on either one. I don't particularly like the light pink with the like pastel blue and yellow. Uh, or necessarily that dark navy color on the Vey Savant either. So definitely would be wanting to change the color schemes on them, but the new weapons and the new equipment and everything is pretty cool. I also do kind of prefer the original heads more so than these newly kind of uh, differently designed heads. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section, which do you prefer just in terms of like different aspects of the design between the originals and these uh, Savant versions here. I have to imagine that a lot of you guys are gonna probably be in agreement with me that kind of the main draw of these or kind of what makes them uh, most cool is just kind of the newly doubled up equipment that they have on there is pretty cool I've got to say and certainly what made me want to pick up these kits for myself as well but let me know your guys thoughts down in the comment section below and if you guys want to check out some more different Gunpla and tools and supplies and everything else you can check the link in the video description to USA Gundam store that's right down there and you guys can find all sorts of cool stuff on there if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed taking a look at this P Bandai set uh, leave a like and if you haven't already subscribed you maybe consider subscribing uh, all of your guys support definitely helps out a lot so thank you guys all so much until next time guys hope you have a great day and i'll see y'all later bye bye